<laughs> we just come in over here this afternoon and I told Keith, I looked up on the hill and seen this old gentleman fishing. And you know, I, I, I'm a big fisherman, I love fish. I keep my tackle in the vehicle, you know, in case I do find them catching white and I can fish right then. I told Keith, I'd stop over here. I said, I'm going over here and join this old man, he's fishing up on the hill. And I said, look at him jerking, he's ready to catch them. I got out of Keith's vehicle, walked up on the hill. I got up there, I knew there was something wrong, there wasn't no water up there. <laughs> Just, I walked out to the old gentleman. I said, old Tom, how you doing? He said, I'm doing great. I said, how old are you? He said, I'm 98. I said, well, there's no way I'm going to say if I make him mad or disturb him. I said, it looks like fish are biting pretty good. I kind of went along with it. <laughs> No gentleman, he said they're eating me up. So I, I told him, I said, I'm in a bigger hurry than I thought I was. I better go back down and join Keith. So I left down and put my reel and stuff up. And I said, Keith, turn around and go back down to the store here. That man might get hurt up here. I said, he's falling down everything, jerking them fish. I said, he's 98 years old. So we, Keith turned around and went back down to this store. I went and I said, you guys know anything about this man fishing up on the hill? They said, we've heard about him. I said, you know he's fishing up right there, no water up there. I said, something wrong. They said, yeah, we've heard about the story, but we don't talk much about it. Said his wife lived right across the street, go there and tell her. Being a gentleman I am, I walked over. I knocked on this door, this real old lady came out from the door. I said, lady? Good evening. She said, um, how you doing? I said, I said, uh, is that your husband up here fishing on the hill? Yes, sir, that's him. I said, well, don't you think there's something wrong? He's up there fishing, they under underwater in 10 miles of this place. She said, yeah. I said, he lost it a long time ago. I said, he, he went stark crazy. I said, well, how about me taking some of the boys in the van, go up there and help him get out off the hill so he won't get hurt. I said, just leave him up there. She said, I always take my boat and go get him by 6 o'clock. <laughs> Folks, I want to tell you something. Now that just happened about five miles northeast of Cashiers. <laughs>